Hey, this short video is meant to show how to start our emotion recognizer and how it works. As a preparation, you should clone the repository and install all the necessary dependencies. After that, we open the top folder in an IDE of our choice and move to the web app folder to start the flask app.py. The local host server should then start and we can connect to it with our favorite web browser. Once we are on the landing page, we see three different core functions that we implemented to show the working principles. These are the audio analysis, the video analysis, and the combination of both, the multimodal analysis. Let's start with the audio analysis. The audio recognizer records a three seconds audio snippet and analyzes it with our pre-trained models. Apparently I'm sad, so let's cheer up. On the lower part, we see the resulting wave plot and the melt scale spectrogram that is used for the CNN models in the background to work. The resulting predictions are shown in the bar graph at the top. The emotion with highest probability is also shown in the reaction emoji on the top right. As you see, this works quite good, but sometimes I really get angry because this tool just doesn't work and I don't know why. But yeah, for now, let's go back to the main page. The next building block is our video recognizer. If we click on the video button, your connected camera should start and our beforehand trained deep learning video model detects the emotion. Again, we see our four basic emotions, angry, fearful, happy, and sad that can be processed. And the result is shown in the video as well as in the overall probability distribution under it. The graph this time updates a lot quicker because the detection is in real time. If we go to multimodal, we can see a combined version of the two separate options. Audio and video are detected at the same time and the result is calculated from the two separate input results. Because of the different accuracies of the two models, we gave the video detection a higher weight, namely 70%. The bubble chart below shows those separate detected values and distributions from audio and video. We can see that the reaction emoji only changes when audio and video have high values. This was a brief tour for our core functions. We also provided one additional feature of processing eight emotions in the audio stream to show the difficulties that the audio model has with very similar emotions, but we won't show this here now. And to round things up, we have uh, an about page where there is information about the project, the trained models, the data sets and their licenses. If you're interested to try it yourself, feel free to download it. Thanks for listening.